Hello everyone. So today's topic is about how to play scale. Scales are one of the most important components in any piece of music. So if you are able to play the scale, you are able to play almost any types of music. If you live in Canada, you must be familiar with Royal Conservatory exam. You will always be asked to play the scales in each level. Most of the students only practice playing scales before the exam. They never think of mastering the scales to help them to learn different pieces of music. Many people think playing scales is repetitive and boring. However, there are so many theories and knowledges behind playing the scales. The following step-by-step -step tutorial will be in C major, one octave. If you have more questions, please leave your comments here. I will try to answer your questions in my future videos. Thanks for watching and I will see you very soon. Okay, let's take C major scale for example. So when the time you have to switch your fingering to do the crossover from one place to the other place, remember do not twist your fingers like this or like this. Instead, relax your hand and keep your hand at the right shape. And before you do the move with your arms, you have to be familiar with the fingerings of each scale. So for example, we are doing C major scale. We know that we have to use finger number three to play A here. When you do the movement, remember to keep the same shape of your hand do not change the shape of your hand like this or like that or whatever the shape is. Now let's do the movement again. Relax your hand and remember, even if you go to the other notes, that's fine. But you have to get used to this kind of movement because this is how you have to play the scale in the future. After we have been doing the movement several times, you can start playing the scale. Now we can start playing the scale and remember, relaxed. Practice the scale several times with metronome. I recommend you to set the tempo 35. First, play a quarter note on each click, and then two eighth note, and the last four sixteenths. One, two, three, four, one. Found to right hand. We are doing the same exercise as left hand. The only difference here is that uh, we use finger number one to play F here. And remember, do not twist your hand when you do the exercise. Try to move smoothly like this several times. Now let's play the scale. Now let's play staccato. One, let's practice with metronome. Two. One. Two. Three. 
Play both hands together. Remember, finger number one on F for right hand, and finger number one on G for left hand. Thank、you 